off. The, the whole idea is keeping these two guys, the index and middle, on the G and B, you know? Because everything else, we're just going to move the thumb around a little bit. Sometimes we'll just stay on the D. Sometimes it's alternating between E and D. Sometimes it's A and D. But uh, it's pretty easy. So the, the verse... Mm -hmm. And try to do it without looking at your hand, your right hand, because you're going to eventually go so fast, it's too much to keep up with. Here we go. Uh, a little bit faster than this. G. back to G. It's gonna start over. So then you have, obviously, it's gonna go like. Okay. Same thing. Tell how where that's going to go to that D. So okay, so what I did on the on the verse 
and on that that's uh, like and the sort of like this other like little chorus at the beginning of the song we're playing E minor 7 that's what this is E minor 7 this is E minor okay when we play C to D to a D sus add 2 to an E minor that's the E minor we're playing okay yeah, just like that. Yeah, that's right. Don't put that one because I'll send that's an E major and that'll send you out of the key. So, same way, same way. E string and then we've got G and then uh, and then we're gonna go over to the over to the D string and then we're gonna or over to the G yeah to the D string so it goes and then uh, back over to string two or the B string. So it goes string six, string three, string four. String two, like that. Okay, same thing. You could do either this chord and this chord. That E minor seven and E minor are are played just the same. The arpeggio is just the same. The only thing is different is where you how you're fretting it with this hand. Does that make sense, Connor? Okay, so look at it, and you don't have to learn all that. I just threw it all on.